Hi, I'm Ash from Able12.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the screen resolution of the user. And um, this video was originally a requested video. This is the only reason I'm doing this. Um, so here we go. So first of all, um, in this was requested to get into PHP, but for PHP, you, you can't you can't get the screen resolution using PHP. So what I'm going to do is use JavaScript to get the um, resolution and then I'm going to um, tell the user to push a button which then will, po will post the screen resolution the values of hidden fields over into PHP to so we can process the screen resolution using PHP um, so anyway first of all um, I'm just going to create a form here and um, that's going to go back to index.php the method is going to be post and let's just end the form right there so in this form um, we're going to need a hidden field the name is going to be uh, one, of, one of the names is going to be width and we need an ID for the JavaScript so width and a value which is going to get blank at the moment so what we can do is just copy this and paste it down change these to height like that and we also need a submit button so input type equals submit um, value is I'm just going to put show my screen resolution and the name um, is going to be submit okay so we've done the form so if I just uh, come here that's what it looks like show my screen resolution we click the button and nothing uh, happens yet. Um, so second of all, it's going to be the JavaScript now. And um, usually, I would use um, separate files for JavaScript. Uh, but for this specific tutorial and for such little JavaScript code, um, I'm just going to keep it on the same document. So script type is going to equal text forward slash JavaScript. I'm just going to end the script there um, and in this javascript we're going to create two variables which is so we're going to put var find width is equal to screen dot width okay and basically we can just copy this down oops once again and change these to height Okay, so basically that has now got the screen resolution and it's put them into JavaScript variables. Uh, but now what we want to do is um, move these into PHP. So what we have to do first is then add these to these values. Um, so when the user pushes the button, they will get sent to PHP. So to do this, um, you type document um, dot get element by ID. Um, now, when I was first starting to learn JavaScript, um, I always used to get errors on this because of this get element by ID. Basically, E in the element, by and um, I in the ID, they need to be uh, capitalized. Um, so make sure you have the capitals exactly how I've got them uh, right there okay so now what do we want to get by ID so what did we get up here so it was width want it so we can um, put width in there and then dot value so we want to change the value we want to change it to the find width just like that okay so now what we can do is if we once again copy it down change these to height Okay. Um, now that is basically all your JavaScript code. Um, now what you'd probably think is that uh, once we refresh this page and look at the source, you'll probably think um, nothing's been entered into the values. Uh, but they have. They're just not showing up on the um, the source code. So. Now what we can do is if we come down again and 
open up some PHP tags we can then say we can then create an if statement to say if is set dollar underscore post um, submit so if the submit button has been pressed um, we're going to run this code here so um, the width is equal to dollar underscore post um, width and once again copy down change it to height okay and that's basically it you can do whatever you want now with the um, width and height because now you've got it so what I'm going to do here is just create an echo just to show you that it works um, so your screen resolution is and I'm going to put the width capital X and then the height so if I just come back and click on this button now as you can see your screen resolution is and it will tell me my screen resolution um, now you're probably thinking does it work now I can actually tell you if I just close some of these down make it a bit smaller um, if I go to my screen resolution here as you can see screen resolution is 1366 by um, 768 and that's what it says in the uh, the page and once again if I change this um, which I'm not going to change it because it might mess up the recording um, actually yeah I'll change it anyway um, uh, let's go for 1024 by 768 okay uh, keep changes so we're on 1024 by 768 so if I just uh, come back and refresh the page uh, there you go screen resolution is 1024 by 768 so as you can see it works perfectly fine um, and what I'm going to do is now show you a screenshot I took from my phone and it will tell you the screen resolution of the iPhone so as you can see there it works perfectly fine on the iPhone as well and probably most devices because it's just basic stuff so that's how to get the screen resolution posted into PHP um, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time